So first of all, I'm testing out all the linear actuators to make sure they work properly. 150mm of extension, check. Holy shit, it works! Wait, 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 wait. Oh! Yes, it's gonna tip over. <laughs> Now, since the holes on the linear actuator are much smaller than the holes of the old linear actuators, so I'm going to have to plug up the old holes and refill them. Now, the new linear actuators are actually much shorter than the old ones, despite them having almost the same amount of tra travel. And for that, I've had to do a little bit of maths to work out where the new holes would go, and then it show. So what I did is actually pretty standard stuff. Uh, it's just trigonometry and cosine rule. Um, I just tried to retain the same moving capacity as it had before uh, with the new linear actuators. Uh, and so that's how I work out where all the holes are and stuff. I think it's very interesting how I rework it out. Long story short, I optimized movement with some fancy maths. So now laying down that maths onto the wood and drilling the hole. Well, last time. So this is where I kind of took a lengthy break from the physical construction or mechanics of the robotic arm and I spent a week or two completely on just figuring out how the electronics all worked. For example, I tested out the linear actuators. Yes! Ha! 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 And also tried controlling them with the motor drivers I bought and with the Arduino as well. And then there was the drill which was for the z-axis, this was really similar to how I controlled the linear actuator since it was just a DC motor, I just had to strip the drill apart and control it the same way as before. One of the problems proceed with using the drill as a DC motor was that it might draw too many amps and so it will blow up the motor driver. However, I tested it and that was not the case even under some load. At one point, I think my IQ just went below zero because I tried to control the simple servo motors with a stepper motor driver thinking that I need to control the servos the same way as a DC motor and so I was trying to make the stepper motor mimic a DC motor driver which was completely stupid You don't actually need like a um, driver board to control them because they already had that in, built into it <laughs> With only just one other servo motor to test and learn about, I thought, how hard could it be? Wow, I was so wrong. Now for this standard mixo motor, which apparently is like the Ferrari in cars in terms of the servo world, it's a little bit more complicated than just a standard servo. And I actually need to convert apparently the uh, half duplex to the full duplex, something like that. Anyway, so... <laughs> I, I'm just f trying to follow a tutorial on how to like make one of these things move and control them. I'm just banking on a tutorial to work and hopefully it does, otherwise... I don't know what I'm going to do if it doesn't. <laughs> Using this tutorial, I bought a tri-state buffer and now I'm trying to connect the tri-state buffer with the Arduino and also with the servo motor. One of the biggest challenges I faced in this project really was the fact that I was quite inexperienced in coding and so it made it so much harder for my ideas to translate from my head to the Arduino. For example, whenever I was using a new Arduino library or more advanced code that other people had made, I had to be able to quickly learn what each part means so I can apply it to my own situation and satisfy my own needs for it. Oh, I uploaded a sketch. <laughs> And no movement, so that's absolutely terrific. Well, we're getting numbers, but I don't think they're readable. Oh shit, it moves! Holy shit! Okay. Okay, I jumped a little bit ahead. So, what I did... I took the server out completely out of the circuit because I was scared that I already damaged it. Uh, because I actually... I accidentally swapped the data wire and the ground wire. Like, god damn, who the hell made the same color? It's so hard to differentiate. Anyway, so I thought that killed it because it wasn't moving at all when I was using this chip. But now when I connected directly to the Arduino, it's actually moving. 
So that's a very good sign, and this is still alive. Oh! Okay, back to the drawing board with this. Still can't get it to work. Well, this diamond mixer server definitely has a lot more to it than a standard server. And so I am going to try and learn some code related to it because it is a lot more complicated. Ah, uh, okay then. So, I've been trying to get this to work for the past week. Still has pretty much no result. Um, the motor won't even turn on through this chip that I bought. That's supposed to like convert the half duplex to the full duplex. So I can read uh, the um, position of the motor. And that doesn't seem to give me any result at all. Um, unlike the tutorials that I looked online, which they seem to make it really easy. And I don't know how they got it to work because I just copied their setup and it actually doesn't work. So it's a little bit disappointing and a bit sad really because I honestly don't know what's wrong. Like, voltage is getting there, the signal that's going through too. Um, yeah. I'm just not very sure. I even tried a new uh, microchip just in case it was because I busted the old one from testing it. Uh, but that's not the case either, since it still won't budge at all. So, well, the solution to things like this is usually throw some cash at it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just throw some money at it. So that's why I'm ordering a, um, a servo shield that's specifically for this type of servo and hopefully that will make life easier and I'll finally be able to get it to work. Because right now I can't get it to work at all unless it's driven directly from the Arduino which makes it unable to read the position of the servo and also control it really precisely and so that's really useless then. Might as well just get a DC motor. So while I'm waiting for the shipping, which was quite expensive actually. <laughs> so it's supposed to arrive in the next couple of days, but meanwhile, I need to get started on making the Z-axis, which I've made some huge changes to it because I want to improve on it dramatically. <laughs> 